Welcome to Inspire Her Orchids, Recovery Diaries from Narcissistic Abuse, Episode 1. Narcissism is far more complex than mere vanity or selfish tendencies. Essentially, narcissism is characterised by a lack of empathy or desire to genuinely understand others' needs. The 13 main signs are, they're preoccupied with self, number one. Their strong feeling of entitlement may lead them to expect constant attention and admiration from others. 2. Unrealistic expectations. Their need for constant attention and admiration are paired with more unrealistic expectations from others. They use tactics to ensure others will instantly comply with all their wishes without question. A narcissist's entitlement can make them think they deserve special accommodations and favours. 3. Dehumanising others. They might interact with people based on whether they believe that a person can offer something beneficial to them, such as social status, a job or emotional fulfilment. If a narcissist determines that a person has failed them in any kind of way, they will most likely often devalue or discard them. 4 lack of empathy. Narcissists often lack empathy as a result of dehumanizing others. They lack the attempt to understand the perspective or feelings of anyone besides themselves, resulting in a lack of compassion and remorse for any wrongdoings they themselves have inflicted on others. 5. Obsession with appearance. Narcissists can be fixated with their own beauty along with other aspects of their appearance, such as wealth, fame, success, and reputation, and how they're viewed upon by others. They can sometimes fantasize about great success, power, and beauty. Six, pride. Being obsessed with their appearance can cultivate a prideful personality. A narcissist might come off as vain or immodest as a result of their pride. Seven, exaggeration. To boost their appearance and importance, an individual might exaggerate their skills and accomplishments, circumstances where they have initiated gaslighting, only to ensure the response can warrant a smear campaign. The narcissist will then magnify their victim persona exponentially. 8. Inability to accept criticism. Because a narcissist has a sense of pride and a high view of themselves, they are often sensitive to negative feedback and criticism, even if it's constructive. A narcissist can become very defensive or angry at even the slightest criticism, making it a challenge to call them out on their own problematic patterns of behaviour. 9. Envy. The need for constant feeling of being the most successful and powerful person in the room. If they feel as though someone else is outshining them in any kind of way, they can quickly become jealous and may try to knock the other person down due to sibling rivalry. Envy is one of the most common narcissistic sibling characteristics, but it can also be used in other relationships that narcissists have with others. 10. Mood swings. This inability to properly balance their feelings can result in aggressive impulses, verbal assaults and manipulation. On the other hand, they can manipulate situations to inflict pain on someone based on their own emotional triggers that they themselves are unable to regulate internally. 11. Broken or strained relationships. Narcissists tend to have difficulties within their own relationships because loved ones may not tolerate their put-downs, contempt or carelessness. Often, sometimes people can reach a breaking point and have to cut ties with the narcissist completely. 12. Low self-esteem. Despite the outward appearance, they themselves love themselves unconditionally and they want others to believe that they do. Feelings of superiority are usually rooted in a deep sense of insecurity. They typically express poor self-esteem or arrogance, usually working hard to overcompensate for their lack of confidence. 13. Need for approval. A narcissist's lack of self-esteem drives them to actively seek validation from others, whether the narcissist's inadequacies are real or imagined. They experience a significant need for approval from other people. 
It is very important to remember that a narcissist's qualities run along a spectrum. People often forget there is a difference between having few narcissistic characteristics and having a narcissistic personality disorder. True narcissists lack the empathetic sort of self-reflection required to wonder whether they have personality disorder. Where we can, we should resist deeming others to be narcissists. However, we can identify the narcissistic traits we observe in others to try to avoid getting caught in toxic situations. We will tackle these topics inside the mind of a narcissist and how to spot one. The aging narcissist, dealing with narcissistic family dynamics, identifying the abuse and tactics used against you, the wounded child born from narcissism, trauma bonds and gaining closure, going no contact or using the grey rock method, whichever one works best for you, how to cope with triggers and focus on recovery triggers, healing from a smear campaign, setting and implementing boundaries, and most importantly, building your confidence, self-worth and self-esteem and conquering fears plus lots of other great discussion points and self stories. I know that each one of you could be in different stages of recovery while listening to this podcast. The purpose of this podcast is to get you unstuck by learning what you need to know, how to move past it and switch the focus back onto the most important person, you. You.